Hello, ladies and gents. Um, today we have another great comment by the wonderful Caleb. All right, this one's uh, this one's a fun one. Here we go. It's a nice, nice long, you know, long comment, which must be really, really insightful. Has tons of great information, right? Let's let's find out. Austin, and there's the excuse again. Really? You're telling me that I have no understanding of evolution? When I I have been bombarded with it from all angles for the best part of 95% of my education and career now. Educational career. I, I really hope this guy's not a teacher. I Just, just saying. Um... Evolution has so many holes in it, it's not even funny. Oh, no, if it had holes, it would not be funny, would it? Not at all. Uh, there are so many creatures that disprove evolution, it's not even funny. Okay, okay, just pause in right here. If, if you have all these holes in evolution, and if you feel it's so easy to disprove... I, I'd like to, you know, ask the question, where, where are your medals? Where, where are your awards? Because if there was someone that was able to disprove evolution, they would be awarded the, the highest, you know, scientific honors. Science strives, it, it, its main driving force is criticism and open critique. That's how we know if stuff's true or not. You know, people said when when people thought the earth was flat, correct? When science, you know, when people came and said, no, we have, we believe the earth's round, right? This, you know, this is how science works. You have something, something's proposed and it's tested. And then if people later find that it's not true and they contest those claims, then, you know, that's, that's what science does. It accepts those and it, it grows and evolves. It cares about the truth. Okay. Here we go. All I'm saying is, if evolution were true, then we'd either be perfect or we'd be mutants like the X-Men. Why? Why, why would we? I'd like you to explain why would we be perfect, or what would you deem perfect? Anyway, like, what, what would you deem perfect? Either way, but, and then, why would we be mutants like the X-Men? I'm not sure why your concept of X-Men... I don't understand your, 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 the logic you've, you've used here. So, <sighs> evolution... It's a tree. It branches. Things happen. We know right now we're at a we're in a, a state in time, right? Your, your your little fantasy world of X Men. You know it could happen. We we could. There could be people. You know, let's let's give it another billion years, and people or are, are, they wouldn't be people anymore at that point, but ancestors from humans. You know, become things like X Men in ways, right? But then you're gonna have Caleb from you know a million years from now or a billion years from now saying, you know, they're gonna have their own X Men show that's gonna be more more advanced X Men than this X Men, right? And they're like, well, why aren't we the advanced X Men? Why are we just a simple X Men? Huh? <sighs> do, do you see? Do you see your little your Gap in logic there. Okay, so let's, let's continue. As far as I can, as far as I am concerned, neither of the two exist. Well, of course not. It's fucking logical. I have yet to meet a mutant or perfect. Well, yes, of course you haven't. Uh, so to use the atheist number one reason for not believing in God, show it to me. Wait, show what to you? Show evolution to you? If if you've been, as you say, bombarded with evolution for 95% of your uh, educational career, 
you should uh you should have seen something by now unless you just were one lying about this at 95 percent, which i could you know I'm, I'm sure you are but uh yeah the, the proof's there it's not like i need i don't know what you want me to tell you i've told you things earlier and you're and you you disregard them i've offered to give you links to to videos or to uh other sources that have information so i'll sit, sit here and give you a you know a junior high science class lesson okay but you you don't want those you you want to you want to sit here and say we should be x-men and oh, well we should be x-men <laughs> gotcha checkmate checkmate atheist <laughs> come on Jeez, I have yet, of course you haven't, take take an organism and let it sit down for 35 million years and watch it and see how it evolves. Okay, so this is where I'm saying you don't have a understanding of evolution, okay? You, you say things... You don't have a single organism. A single organism does not evolve, okay, to become some other species. That's fucking illogical. I don't know why you think that. If you, you don't understand evolution, you have a species, right? Or you have a, a, a group of similar animals that can reproduce, right? There's certain things in their environment that either helps them to survive or they die. The ones that die can't mate. The ones that survive can mate. Whatever those differences are is what makes them evolve. Okay? Do you understand how that... I don't know why it's a, a, a ridiculous... Like, it's ridiculous you can't get the, the basic, simple understanding of that. You don't have one organism changing from one day being an ape, and then the next day it just morphs and changes, you know, in, into a, a human. That doesn't happen. That's not what evolution says. Stop pretending like it is, and pretending like you've won this, you know, you've, uh, you've beated science, beated, you've beat science or something. It's So, all right, next point. Let's see what he says. This is, you know, this guy's, he's, uh, what was his initial statement? He's, he's going to, you know, disprove it. I'm, I'm waiting for this dis disprovement still. I haven't seen a lick of this disprovement you spoke of. You know, you really let me down. You really did. Uh, let's also consider a pregnant woman. Does the baby just randomly e evolve while it's in the uterus? No. Does it? No. Uh, what creates the baby? Creates the baby? The, uh, the parents? The parents, you know, um, there's this thing. Uh, reproduction, sex, they, they fuck each other. Sperm and the egg, they eat meat each other. It produces baby, baby forms, baby comes out of a china. You have a crying little baby. All right, yeah. Oh, baby. Uh, to say that our DNA, which is meticulously crafted and holds billions of strands, it's not crafted. I don't know why you think it's crafted. Nobody crafted DNA. It formed it, you know. Whatever. Uh, and holds billions of strands of information specific to you and you alone. This is a product of random chance. In my opinion, a mark of insanity. No. Every single species, every everything, other than like a basic elements and, you know, like any, any living species is uh, unique to itself. That's what, that's one of the fundamental aspects of evolution. Since everything can change, everything is unique to itself, some things have disadvantages advantages. I don't know how many times I need to repeat myself. 
Sorry, I'm trying to find my spot again. Okay, also, another question I have. I don't know why you've, you mean, whatever. If the Big Bang Theory is accurate and evolution is true, then what were there to set all of it into motion? Oh, okay. <sighs> this one's always fun. Well, what started the Big Bang, right? Hmm. Hmm. Let's think. Let's think. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't study this, right? I. I we, we know that this happened, right? We are like science is still researching, you know, as to what caused the Big Bang. There's there's great hypotheses out there, but we're not certain right now, right? We're investigating, okay. But, but I'm I'm sure I'm sure you have an you know you. You have the answer. The answer is God did it, right? God. But but wait, wait, wait. Uh, what what put God into motion? If everything has to have a beginning, you know what? Oh, how did God get there, right? But let me guess. You you're probably gonna create some type of, you know. Well, God's a you know, uh, above and beyond time, right? He's, he's before time. There's, there's no before time. That's not how this works. So, no, again, this is illogical. Okay, and then he goes, something can't start if you want it to. It, you have, something has to start it. Cars can't start themselves. You have to have something to start it. Lawnmowers can't start themselves. Um, I disagree. There's some that can. Yeah, there's some cars that can. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. I'm always the evolution of cars. Um, see, that's using evolution in a, in a way that you were using it earlier when you were talking about non-scientific evolution. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how in the world you're trying to compare lawnmowers and the creation of our universe. <laughs> uh, that was that one's a good one. I've never I never heard that. Uh wait once again okay he goes once again I present the case of zebras. It has stripes. Why? To confuse a lion because a lion is colorblind and if it may it and if it makes it more difficult for the lion to locate the zebra among all the grass because they all look the same. You know what I'll learn that? Okay. No. Okay, the the lion I mean sorry, the, the zebra did not think to itself, right, and say, hmm. You know, guys, lions are colorblind, so why don't we like grow some stripes? Right? Once again, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it today, that is not evolution. It's some fairy tale you're making up in your own mind, right? What evolution says is there was something that kept the, you know, the ancestors of the zebra that had stripes was an advantage for some reason, and the ones that didn't have stripes were a disadvantage for some reason. Or vice versa, or not vice versa, but you know, one could have been good, and one you know could have been neutral anyway. It still would have happened over time. Um, so that's that's what happens. You have one that's one that's better than the other, and just through generations and generations and generations, the one that's better survives, the one that's not better dies. Right. That's all it is. We have like 99% of species that are that have ever existed are extinct. Okay? Because they they're extinct because they died off. Because they didn't they didn't work. They they couldn't survive in their habitat. Or because it's you know, uh mass extinctions, which is still, you know, eliminating a species that can't survive. Apparently, this guy says he learned that on National Geographic. I, I would suggest you going back and re-watching that, because I, I don't believe you have 
learn that. You, you, I believe you misunderstood what they were claiming, okay? One of the most evolutionary biased channels on uh, television. How am I, what am I even saying? Television today. Uh, <laughs> evolutionary biased. Um, yeah, I, I would I would guess channels that relate to science and history would be quote biased towards evolution because they deal with science and and history. And, uh, they tend to care about, well, in some aspect, they tend to care about the truth. Other times they're just in for fucking, you know, money. But, either way, it's just a funny statement you made. I need to stop losing my spot here. Uh, there was two bushes ran. What is it? Okay, one of the most illegal by chance. Now tell me, why did zebra just randomly evolve that trick to keep it safe because it somehow knew? Okay, well it didn't somehow knew. We just already went over this. Every zebra from then until forever was gonna be hurt by the lion. That's not how it happened. You're incorrect again. Did it know the lion was colorblind? No, it did not. The zebra didn't know. Fuck. Okay. Um, or maybe, just maybe, it could be something that given the zebra a little trick to keep it safe. Nope, that's that's not how this works. I don't know why you made that that leap again. Uh, believe what you want, both with religion and anti-theism. Once something's ingrained in it, once someone's ingrained in it, they're incredibly hard to persuade out of it. But I have presented my side of the story. No, you haven't. You you falsely presented my side. That's all you did. You the entire time you just falsely presented my side, and then walked around like you know. You won some you know debate when you all you've done was falsely you falsely presented my side the entire time. You were making claims that I never supported or never made. So, um, good try, but come again. Uh, uh, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to believe that my life and my life and the lives of those who I care about and the lives of other human beings were random in nature. Wait, no. So you refuse to believe? Okay, well then that just that sums it up. So no matter how much evidence I gave you, no matter how much ninety five percent of your you know your educational career um, was taught you about evolution, you 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 just said you refuse to believe it. I can't even I can't I can't reason with someone that trust that outright refuses to believe something. If you presented actual, you know, proof of some sort that, you know, your God exists, then I would be inclined to believe it. Like any other claim, if there was, if there's proof and I have reason to believe it, and there's enough evidence, you know, to support it, I will believe the claim, right? You've just told me that you refuse to believe evolution be simply because you don't like what it teaches. You don't like the truth that it teaches. You rather live your lie than face the truth because you 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 are happy with what the truth is. Because he even goes on. To me, that sucks the entire meaning out of life. To you, that doesn't matter. That doesn't change the truth if you like it or not. Liking the truth or disliking the truth doesn't change the truth. You understand? If death is all if death is all there is, then I should just go jump off a lake because that's my life. All my life is, in effect, totally meaningless. No, your life's it's as much as I'd love to tell you go jump off a lake, I I'm not. Um your life's not meaningless, right? You're here, 
I mean, at, at the core level, you're here, you know, to further your species. But as as well, you you are, have a life, you have family, you have friends, you have you can, even though this life is temporary, temporary, you can still enjoy it. So instead of sitting here, moping and crying about you know how your ancestors came to be, or you know making up these crazy claims and and believing those could make you feel better. Why don't you just accept the truth and live your life? It's not hard. It's free. It's liberating. It's great. Live your life. And that's it. Oh my gosh. That was 20 minutes. Peace. See y'all later. Bye.